Electricity is a core safety concern in power stations operations. Many types of low, medium and high voltage electrical equipment and apparatuses are involved in power plant operations. These electrical equipment poses inherent electrical hazards while in operation to human beings and plant assets. The main safety risks related to electricity are Electrical shocks to human beings Electrical burns and fire. Even a minor electrical incident cannot be ignored. It must be dealt with due seriousness and formal investigation shall be performed to find out root causes. Today we are sharing with you a significant event that happened at Ouch Power Station when a 6.3 kV Incoma breaker flashed over and caused a complete complex blackout. The breaker was in service at that time and no switching or other activities were in progress. The station complex was on base load with 508 megawatts sent out to National Grid. The 6.3 kV breaker's room is located close to the control room. Keeping all his senses intact the shift charge engineer immediately called fire team and asked to remain standby. After verifying all plant key parameters, the shift charge engineer called fire team leader for sending firefighter for inspecting the room. The 6.3 kV room was partially filled with smoke. The smoke was dissipated through doors opening outside. After isolating the affected breaker, the shift charge engineer asked control room operator for donning on the complete full body arc flash suit and opened the breaker. The breaker was significantly blackened on external surfaces including its breaker cubicle door. A dead lizard was found in the base of breaker. Upon further closer look around it was observed that there are gaps in the openings of cable conduits and breaker cubicle doors. This provides sufficient space for lizards to ingress in. Conclusion and Root Cause the Ouch power plant is located at a deserted and semi-arid area which inhibits common lizards and wild reptiles and snakes in abundance. It's therefore not possible to completely or eradicate these species. Corrective and preventive measures Preventing ingress of these reptiles in cable trenches, conduits and cable races was the only viable option in this scenario. Four preventive and corrective actions were adopted in this regard. All openings from cable racers to the 6.3 kV breakers room were sealed with putty sealant along with polyurethane foam. Similar methodology also applied at other breakers' cubicle switch gears of the plant. Reptiles repellent material placed under breakers' cubicles and between electrical panels. It's also placed all around the cable conduits openings including cable trenches, doors of 220 kV relay rooms, switch gears rooms and 6.3 kV breaker rooms. Snake catches placed at all necessarily plant locations. Pesticide and reptiles control spray is done on regular intervals. Especially before and after the hibernating periods and beginning of summer. Hey, hi team, uh, welcome to the Electrical Safety Week. Uh, the, the, we are here from Och, Pakistan. Uh, the video you just watched uh, highlights the inherent dangers of working on, in or around the electrical equipment. Uh, in post-incident panic situations, we sometimes lose uh, focus uh, on our personal and team safety. Hazards like fire, PPE, uh, low visibility, explosion proof uh, uh, search lights, self contained breathing apparatus, and most importantly, use of a full body arc flash suit while entering such locations uh, is, uh, is sometimes missed out or ignored. Employees need to remain aware of potential electrical hazards and know the dangers of being complacent uh, at work. A periodic electrical incident emergency response exercise planned and conducted on power plants and substations will help employees remain fully trained and ready to handle such incidents. ABC of safety, attitude,
behavior and consequence all starts with the people's attitude to safety and risk mindfulness let us make zero injuries our goals thanks for your attention and be safe